the Large Hadron Collider and 9-11. What have they got in common? Well, they've got more in common than you may think. Do you know what? I'm going to make a prediction here because the Bible says that about the tares that they are predictable, that they are loudmouth braggarts because they are beasts of instinct. So they work via instinct. Therefore, that must mean it's not difficult to work out what their next move is going to be. Now, listen to this. Tomorrow will be the 11th of September. So it's the anniversary of 9-11. In the, in the USA, you say that it's uh, the, uh, 9-11. In the UK, we say it's the 11th of the 9th. It's the 11th of September. Okay? You say 9-11. Now, today, when I made this video, is the 10th of September. And tomorrow is the 11th. Today, the Large Hadron Collider was switched on. Now, let me see if I can make a prediction. I bet you something happens tomorrow. I don't know what it will be, but I think some big announcement or something will happen. But something will definitely happen tomorrow. Because tomorrow is another 9-11. It's another satanic date. I was watching this on, uh, on the PC about uh, the LHC on BBC iPlayer. Now, the BBC uh, broadcast from Alexandra Palace in North London, which is the most satanic building in the world, as you can see from our series, Nibiru Palace. Now, just take a look at this. Um, this is how their news begins. So I'll just click it for you, make it start. It starts off with a planet, and then something very interesting happens here to do with aliens. So I'll just click play. Now, if you watch carefully on this screen, watch those circles, look. I don't know if you saw that, but a little flying saucer just flew across the screen. A flying saucer, yes, that's right. Well, what do you expect? The mark of the beast. It's everywhere. Now, if you have a look on BBC iPlayer, for instance, and watch when the planet starts on the news, you'll see that flying saucer um, going across the Earth. Now, Obviously, it's a little flying saucer, but it's also a little Earth, isn't it? You know. So put it in perspective. The flying saucers that you're going to see when this lot come from Nibiru are not going to be small. They are going to be enormous. My wife had a dream about this, that a UFO, a flying saucer, if you like, turned up. And a megaphone shouted down to everyone, all those who love Jesus better get out now. And it was a deception. Because you cannot listen to anything that these devils from Nibiru say. The Book of Enoch calls them Satans, plural. You cannot listen to them. If they say to you, get out, don't. Just stay right where you are. If they say to you, stay right where you are, don't. Get out of there. Whatever they say, the opposite will be applicable. That's the safest route with these creatures. You're going to see all of these things coming to light day after day. But just like the scripture says, that the tares, they are brute beasts of instinct they cannot help themselves they are not human they are some kind of animal hybrid which is a, a cross between an angel and a human being it's not a normal being which god created and therefore they are an abomination they are beasts remember the bible tells you about the beasts the two beasts well these are beasts half angel half human Genghis Khan was a beast. Alexandra the Great was a beast. Hercules was a beast. All these so-called great men of history were beasts. Half angel, half human tears. Subhuman abominations. And they run everything. Tomorrow is 9-11 again. Today, at the time of making this video, the Large Hadron Collider was switched on. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. 
taking into account what the Holy Scripture says, that they are brute beasts of instinct and loud mouth braggarts, that they'll give themselves away even further tomorrow, or that some event will happen tomorrow. I don't know. But going by what's happened before, and the fact that they are brute beasts of instinct, I think something might happen tomorrow. We'll see. I'm not making a prophecy. I'm just putting two and two together and seeing what happens.